Welcome to Impression Monche by Secrets, an adult-only, all-inclusive luxury resort located in Playa del Carmen, Mexico, one of my favorite cities to visit. Now, in this video, as usual, I am going to experience this Hyatt Resort. I'll give all of you my opinion, and of course, I want to know what all of you think. We are going to focus on two main objectives for this video. One, considering the price to come to Impression Moshe, a ticket to the dance, if you will, will run you in the price range of $1,000 to $2,000 per night. What is the difference in this resort versus, let's say, your standard resort that's going to be in the price range of about $200 to $300? Two, considering this is an all-inclusive resort that's supposed to be luxurious and at top of the line, what is the difference in this all-inclusive resort versus a luxurious resort that is not an all-inclusive, like let's say you're in Nizuk. That's the resort I was just at before this video. Make sure you check it out if you haven't already. We have the stars of the show right here. These yeah, are the real stars. We, we got Felix volleyball. and, I'm sorry, what's your name? Miguel. Miguel. How you guys doing? Yeah. Mexican Mike. <laughs> Did you say Magic volleyball. Mike or Mexican Mike? Mexican. See, oh, like, okay. Oh, uh, oh, 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 whoa, whoa. Hey, there, there are children here. Yeah. Not, not really. It's an all, all inclusive adult only. Oh, oh look, look at the form. Let's see it. Let's see it. Get a close up on that. <laughs> we will start from the front and work our way in. As you can see, we have this very large and in charge water fountain. I would say the building structure as a whole does give off a very elite type of feel. They also have 24 hour valet service and they hop right to it as soon as you arrive. As we work our way in, as you can see, we have this amazing, open, beautiful ocean view lobby area. This is pretty much the first thing you're going to see as soon as you walk into the resort. And let me just make it clear now, these two buildings are part of the same umbrella company. However, they are two separate classes of building. This is the Moshe. This is where I'm staying in a suite. I'll show you here in a bit. And this is Impression. It's supposed to be like a next step up from the Moshe. I did get a chance to tour the property. I saw the penthouse suite and the rooftop and everything in between. We'll check that out later on today. Right over here is the main check-in desk. This is where you're probably going to go once you arrive. They also have some sitting and waiting areas here as well. Down this way, this is the preferred club office area. This is where you would check in if you are with the preferred or VIP club members, the loyalty program for Hyatt. This is the Market Cafe. It's not too far away from the check-in counter. It does serve breakfast and it serves lunch. The breakfast is from 7 to 11. The lunch is from 12 to 4. There are plenty of lounging and sitting areas over here at the Market Cafe with a beautiful view of the entire resort. Let's go down there and check it out. Now, normally I would take the stairs down because one thing I will say about these elevators, first of all, most of them look like service elevators with the exception of the ones here at the main office. There is no AC, so it is hot. I can't imagine during summertime. And they are also the slowest elevators I have ever seen in my life. Here is the start of the main pool areas, one of many. You have this beach front, which is also very cool. Now, one thing I've noticed when it comes to all of these pools here at this resort, yes, there are a lot of cool nooks and crannies. If you want to kind of hide away and enjoy your time in peace, you can. However, it would seem that when it comes to the start of these pools, it goes from quietest and it starts to get a little bit louder and rambunctious as you get down over by the beach. This entire strip here on down are the start of all of the restaurants. As you saw right there, there was a French cuisine restaurant, there's a steakhouse, there's a Mexican spot. All of them, again, are all inclusive. I will check out at least two of them while I am here, and of course, I'll give you my honest review. Just past the restaurant strip, I believe there's six restaurants, including a vegan option, which I'll show you here in a minute. There is the Moshe Spa. We have the Sun and Sea store. You can get all types of collectibles and cigars and trinkets and memorabilia. You also have the Hoop Jewelry Shop, in case you want to buy some hoop earrings. <laughs> Next to this shopping area here, you do have the Dark Horse Bar. Now, this whole area, yes, not only can you get drinks, it is two floors. Upstairs, they have things like virtual golf. I believe they have pool and some other games and lounging areas up there as well. Here, they do have the Bamboo Vegan Island Cuisine, a nice option if that is your dietary preference. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. In the back of Dark Horse here, they do have the Coco Cafe for all of you coffee drinkers out there. Yes, of course, in case all of you were wondering, these cafes and lattes and frappuccinos are free of charge as they are included with your stay. This area here may look a little dead right now. They are offering festivities for Valentine's Day tomorrow. However, during the evening hours, there are carts that are set up here for tacos and all types of street eats. Very, very cool, and the food was absolutely delicious. 
Across from the Coco Cafe, there is the wine boutique where you can have wine tastings and other liquor tastings. They have wine at $100 a person, tequila $150 a person for the tasting, and you also have Macal at $120 per tasting. Now, that's something that I have heard around here when I ask people what they thought about the resort. They do feel that even though it's an all-inclusive resort, there are a lot of rumors floating around that you are being nickeled and dimed here to some degree. Now, let's be clean and fair here virtually at any and all all inclusives even though it is an all inclusive meaning everything's technically supposed to be included there are always going to be some upcharges however you could make the argument at anywhere between a thousand dollars and two thousand dollars per night to stay here yeah Everything should probably be free for the most part. We are going to go check out my suite. I believe in this building, the Moshe building, there are 488 rooms, half of which are dedicated to suites guests. I am in suite 2608. Now, once we go inside, you will see that it's a pretty nice room. This is a preferred club junior suite. We'll start the suite tour from the outside and work our way in. As you can see, I have a perfect view of all the pools stretching all the way out to the beach area. You do have an outside bathtub. It's not a hot tub. Still pretty cool. You have a lounging couch over here. The only con I would say is that you see this space right here. It's kind of lacking in the privacy area, in my opinion. Let's take a gander at this spacious junior suite. You got your big mirror here to make sure you're looking good before you go out for the nightly festivities. You've got a couch here, work table is where I've been leaving my laptop at. Table over here. You have a mini bar. However, you got some snacks up here that are all free of charge for you to use. An espresso machine. With the mini bar comes some wine, and you also have all of this available for you, drinks and beer as well. You have a very comfortable, I want to say medium firm king size bed here, slept like a baby. You have this very technologically advanced device here, complete with USB ports. This here, you can look at everything that's going on around the resort. You can also make reservations, whether it be to the dining options or the spa. Here controls all of your lighting. There's a couple of these setups around the room, from relax to courtesy, or you can turn them all off. This knob here does control this fan right up here. You have your outlets and, of course, the thermostat over here in the corner. You do have two reading lights by the bed. Over on the desk, you have the phone. You have another lamp, you have more outlets, and you have another lighting control setting feature over there as well. Go in the bathroom here in a second, but as you can see, if you want some privacy, even if it's from your significant other, maybe you guys are having an argument, boom, just like that, you don't have to see them while you're in the bathroom. You've got a table, you've got your TV. Let's go ahead and head into the restroom. Now, you do have a separate lighting setup for here in the bathroom. You can relax, courtesy, off or you can keep them all on. Very technologically advanced. You got two sinks over here, one and two. They do give you a lot of toiletries. You got your toothbrush, you got your lotions, you have your hand sanitizers, extra towels, and of course you have your vanity mirror set up. There are extra towels and shelving area down here, your blow dryer, your scale, more towels. And this is a very, very nice showering area. You do have the rainfall shower up here. And of course you have your other shower handheld right over here and all your soaps and other cleaning materials. Last but not least for the bathroom, you do have the porcelain throne. Finally, I'll show you this interesting closet space set up over here by the door. So as you can see, very spacious. And yes, I did put my entire bag in here. I'm only here for less than 48 hours, so I didn't unpack everything. But if you press this button here, it opens up a secret compartment. So if let's say a room steward or somebody used to get into your room, however they can't or you don't want them, you have the privacy setting on, there is a door here in which they can just drop stuff off right here and then you can pick it up through this secret compartment. You get it? Because the company that owns this resort is called Secrets. <laughs> You've got your safe, plenty of dresser or drawer space all the way down here. If we go over here to the other side, of course, you've got your secret robes, your hangers, your extra linens up here, and your umbrella, as well as more spacing down here. And I do believe, yes, that is a steamer. Before we head back downstairs, I want you to look across the way. That building over there, like I said earlier, is Impression. I did get a chance to take a tour of the property. Over there, I got to see some of the master suites. I saw the penthouse suite. I saw one of the junior suites. Very, very nice accommodations. Now, do keep in mind, it's a lot more expensive over there. They have the rooftop bar, Cielo, that whole area is some 
supposed to be heaven. Cielo means heaven in Spanish, by the way. You learn something new every day. Then they have Toro, I believe that's how it's pronounced. That is the restaurant over there, and you're talking in the range of about $200 a person in order to go eat at that establishment. However, if you're staying at Impression for more than five days, it is on the house. Impression also has its own beach club and pool area. However, the guests that are staying at Impression can also enjoy all the amenities and festivities and pools that are available here at Moshe. It doesn't work the other way around for the guests staying at Moshe, only for the Impression guests. Oh look, an elevator waiting just for me. What are the odds? Well, I'm stuck in the very slow service looking guest elevator. It's not going anywhere. These elevators have already been pretty slow throughout my entire experience here, but uh, I guess I'm gonna get out <laughs> if I can. Before we go grab some food, we're gonna check out this pool area. Now, like I was telling you guys before, there are just so many pool and hidden areas. See what I mean? Literally every turn you go down, there is like a new pool that nobody is at because there's just so much hidden areas where people can kind of feel isolated and give a intimate feel. By the way, this may be the perfect time to remind all of you that if this specific resort is in your budget and you want to go somewhere where there aren't any kids, you can of course book with myself and my travel agent sponsor Lux Rally Travel. Link in the description box below. What's cool about this place is that this was not up here earlier, neither were any of these stands. Basically what they do here is that whenever there is an event which is daily, let's say Super Bowl, they had football players and cheerleaders running around here I heard. Tonight there is a show in the theater called Roads Through Mexico. Mexico. So they kind of decorate the place to fit the theme of whatever is going on that day. Pretty cool. Here we are. We have finally made it down to the main pool. Now overall, it is pretty chill for the most part. There's plenty of places to eat around these areas. Snack food. They're setting up, I guess, either barbecue or some type of snack food for later on in the evening. By the way, every single one of these pools here from the front of the resort back over to here closes at 6 p.m. However, this may stay open a little bit later on because as it gets to around 6 p.m., people here get a little bit more rambunctious. They get a little bit more rowdy and well, they're going to keep it open and just sort of little by little weave everybody out to try to go get some dinner up until about 7 p.m. Now one thing I will tell you about the beach, La Playa over here at the resort, it is not the star of the show. A lot of people have said that the beach here at this specific location and other secrets location is pretty good, but it's very underwhelming here. The focus is more so of all of the pools and secret areas here at the resort. Yeah, there's no denying it. This <laughs> definitely ain't it. However, I have heard the Secrets location over in Tulum has a massive pool and it's brand new. So I'm guessing that's where everybody's flocking. If they care more so about the beach area than they do the entire resort and pool area. Well, it is now time to head into the evening festivities and of course dinner. Before we get dinner, we're gonna see what's going on with this Mexican festival thing. Ooh, that looks so good. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Hello. <laughs> this is cool, look, they got tons of food. They have a full-fledged shindig going on over here. Pretty cool. I think we're gonna go ahead and try Amber Fire Kitchen. This is the steakhouse. So I had some warm bread and salad for the appetizer. Sorry in advance, by the way. I don't know if I'm becoming allergic to something because I'm getting older or what. My nose is very, very stuffy right now. But for the appetizer, bread, salad. For the main entree, I had some shrimp and, to be honest with you, a very cheap steak. It does appear that, yes, you are kind of nickeled and dime at the steakhouse. They're going to give you a cheap steak or your other option is ribs and... Well, if you want something nicer, you're going to have to pay for it. Anywhere between, I believe I saw like 60 to like 100 bucks. So here is what's left on the docket. We have to go see the show. They have a different show every night. Every night at 9.45 without fail. After that, they open the nightclub. However, you have to get a secret password in order to get inside. You get in through the pharmacy. You tell them the password, which is usually some medical term. And from there, they let you in. You can dance the night away.
one. Just one aspirin. Okay. Gracias. <laughs> Here are my final thoughts about Impression Moshe by Secrets, located in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. The property in and of itself is beautiful, definitely premium looking. Luxury, yeah, you could definitely go there. When it comes to the price, I do believe that is where the trouble is. Like I said, where I'm at right now on the Moshe side, you're talking about on average, depending on the season and supply and demand, $1,000 per night. You want to go over to Impression, you're talking about in the $2,000 range. And that's just starting out. It's not including for the penthouse suite or something of that nature. Personally, I do believe I'd get more value and stretch my dollar a little bit further if I went back to a non-all-inclusive like Nizuk if I wanted a luxurious experience. You're talking about impressions. Again, $2,000 a night, even here, $1,000 a night per average. If you go to Nizuk, you're talking about $600 to $900 per night. And even if you wanted to do it big, let's say you wanted a villa, it's around $1,100 per night. You would be paying as you go, but I do believe the exclusivity, the seclusion that you get over there, and the overall experience is just better. I'd personally rather spend my money over there. If I didn't want to read really do it up. I don't see too much of a difference personally between, let's say, an all-inclusive like this where it's a higher price versus going to a Ryu where you're talking about two to three hundred dollars per night. Yeah, aesthetically it looks nicer. The entertainment is more or less the same. The party is more or less the same. There are some secret nooks and crannies. There's not a ton of people, so if you want a beach chair, you want to enjoy anything around the resort, yeah, it's available to you. You could argue the drinks are upgraded here from low shelf to at least middle shelf to maybe top shelf. I haven't seen any venues where it's like super top shelf drinks, but they probably got them here. If it comes to food, well, it's more or less the same. The steak I had was eh, and if I wanted to upgrade, as you saw, I would be nickeled and dime to paying a lot more for a decent cut of steak. Moral of the story here, good place if you are maybe a little bit older and you want to really do it up and not have a million people running around. There's not much of a beach at this specific location. However, the pools are nice, the service is nice, and I do believe you would have a great time if this is something that you're looking for. If it is something that you're looking for, do keep in mind you can book with myself and my team over at Lux Rally Travel. Make sure you check us out, link in the description box below. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I appreciate every single one of you. Hit that like button on your way out. No, as usual, I love and appreciate every single one of you. And I'll see you later. Take it easy.